Plaintiff Paul DiPietro claims the defendant cheated him out of thousands in upgrades his company put on Sean's truck. But is he gonna take that from some chump like Sean? Forget about it. He's suing for the remaining three grand. Defendant Sean Akari claims Paul is a wannabe wise guy who uses threats and intimidation to squeeze money out of hardworking guys like himself. He claims Paul didn't do the job right, so he doesn't owe him anything. So, Paul, you are suing Sean because you say he owes you money for work that you did on his truck. Your Honor. Go ahead. There's three things I don't do in my life. I don't lie, I don't cheat, and I don't steal. The day this punk came in my garage, I knew he was lying. I've been in business for 20 years, Your Honor. Yeah, and your business is? It is undercoating. So we undercoat trucks. Yeah. Okay, trucks, cars, SUVs. So this gentleman come in on March 11th, he dropped his vehicle off. I go tell the guy, I need half down and then half when you pick it up. And what the, was half gonna be? So half would have been 1750. Okay, so it was $3,500 So it was $3,500, right. And you wanted half down. Yeah, I mean, just in case something like this shady character comes in. So then he, I begged the guy just to get $500 out of him. He went to the ATM, I think, three times. Oh, my car don't work, this don't work. Oh, Let me tell right. you something. Okay. There is a thing called a scam alert. My scam alert was going crazy. I knew he was a scammer from the day I met him. You got too much gel in the hair or something. Gel? I, 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 mm. Your Honor. So the guy takes five, I take $500 deposit from him. Yeah. I did tell him it would be between four and seven days. So it did take the max seven days. But that means I'm paying employees $25 an hour for a week to work on his truck. I paid over $300 in material. Okay, so what he paid you was $500. Yeah, what he paid me was a measly, measly $500. $500. And then what happened? Go so ahead. a week goes by, Your Honor. Yeah. I give the guy a call, and as he came to pick it up, I said, hey, listen, I'm going to be running around in and out. When are you going to be there? I believe he said he would be there at 12.30. So I was there at 12 o'clock. No, there's no set time. Every word out of your mouth is a lie. All right, sir. Okay. What you're going to do is respect the court, okay. speak directly to the judge, and refrain from the name that. calling. So I'm there that day. He comes in. He said something about, oh, oh, you know, you missed a spot here. You missed a spot there. Whatever, kid. You know, just show me. Show me what you're talking about if you're going to show me, right? So then he, I go in back. This idiot drives out of the lot. That's theft of goods. I should have called the cops on him. So you're saying he took the truck. The guy drives away. I call him on the phone. I said, hey, Sean, what are you doing? He says, oh, I'm going to the ATM. Oh, not one of those. Uh, that's not, I, that's that was when this, oh, believe me, I heard it the first time he came in for the deposit. Chump. I called him back three other times. Guess what, Judge? Right to voicemail. So he still hasn't paid you? No, he hasn't paid me nothing. Uh, I, I don't know. He won't I, even answer no his way. phone. I work All right, hard. let me go to you right now. It's $3,500 to get it done. Right, right. You go there, and someone gave you the keys? The, the actual employee gave me the keys okay, and, and but said, gave you're you, all set to go. He, and then he was drove, nowhere to be found. Why would you drive away without paying? We talked previously, and he had said that, you know, your truck is ready, you're good to go, you know, I'll contact you later. I get there, his employee gives me the keys, bada bing, you know, he's like, you can go. Bada bing, like, what? Like well, yeah, but you know, right. in <laughs> fairness, wouldn't you have to then pay him? If the performed work was done up to what I was promised, that's the thing. It was well, all what, broken well, promises. Okay. It was all just let's a runaround. Take... It was all, you know, bas basically just like a hustle. Well, wait. Let's take a look. Right. The, the evidence that I brought, there, there's spots missed. I'll tell you, you something. I'm going to have to wreck this kid. Okay. You drove the truck off the property after only having paid $500 on a $3,500 job. Even if there's something that isn't perfect, then you would keep it there and say, hey, could you fix this spot? Because you snake. Well, I, I didn't actually Let see, see until it pictures. was a, a later time that Let I actually see the got on the... That's your truck before you did anything, right? Right, correct. Okay. Uh -huh. Now there's... What's wrong with that? Well, no, do I didn't think I had a picture, Judge. You didn't think I had a picture. He, he was supposed Admit to put... You didn't think I had the picture. Sure. Be I quiet, know, please. I know, I know. You know, all right. He, he was supposed to post on social media just the progress. Pictures and videos, and basically it's like a whole workup that he got me pumped for, which none of that happened, so I don't know if it was prepped right, if it was actually done correctly. You know, after but, the fact... When you're no. looking at this, it looks pretty good, no? I mean, I would look at that and say, uh, yeah. Show me a picture where he didn't get it right. Um, I, I have the evidence pictures here. Yeah, yeah there, 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 there were spots you missed, kids? and uh, you know, he told me it was gonna be like three to four days, okay, about a I week understand. later. Okay, I understand, that know. part I get. I wanna see where uh, he missed the work. Those there. 
You know, I was told that the, the complete underneath would be done and taken care of. You know, those spots there, the, that's, you know, that, that's okay. basically like the, the most clear ones I can see. Because take. I admit, I don't know much about trucks. So you wanted this part done black as well? Right, with the undercoat. I, okay. I was told everything underneath okay. would be done. Okay, okay. So let's say that wasn't completed yet. In a normal course of doing business, for example, if I were you, I would say, I understood that we were supposed to do that. How long is it going to take you to get that done? Right, we did and he speak would get, later. But there is a lot in between. How long will it take you to get that done? Maybe we can work something out. And I, I I'm going wait off with I, the no. truck for $500. I, I think I was even just intimidated and muscled into the price as it whoa, is. Whoa. I, I don't even think if it was well, done right, it would have been worth it. Okay, but like, you're, you're can, can I say one thing, Your Honor, please? Yeah. Those things that are missed are aluminum. They don't rust. That's why I didn't miss I didn't miss it. We don't okay. do that. They're aluminum. They don't rust. I okay. was never informed that. I think okay, his tracks well, too well, tight well, or something. I don't know. Look, it doesn't make sense to me when somebody pays for a job to be done to walk away, even if there are things that you want it fixed or explained to you, to walk away on a $3,500 job, which you had agreed to, even though you may now say, I never should have agreed. He said, you got to put half down, but then you said, I can only do 500. He said, fine. So you walked away after just paying 500, and you think that's fair, and the court is going to say, yeah, you how win. How my employees that I paid well, I, I, $25 I had, I had every an hour. intention of paying that after the fact if he would have you know, taken care of it at a later okay. time. Well, he's told you why he's not going to do it, because it's aluminum. It doesn't. <laughs> well, even we, we had Sir, a heated. stop with the outburst. Okay. Respect the court. The judge is speaking. We, we Control did your out. emotions right now. Yep. We, we had uh, a phone call you know, about a few days later, and he said, bring it back in. He's like, or bring me my money. And he, you know, he told me that you know, he was going to break my kneecaps, and that oh, I was see God crap. real soon. There was a hole no. behind the building. Okay. You know, I wasn't going to go back there and you yeah, know, you mess don't with break this guy. kneecaps you know. of 3,500, I've always said. Well, that. he buys tracksuits. <laughs> That's all he does. Okay. Uh, like that's you know? real leather you got on? Hey, I'd like to watch. Where's this your isn't watch? Even mine. You ain't it's got a real Rolex. Rolex. It's work. Right. Go ahead. Keep smiling. You ain't got a real Rolex. Show us your Rolex. Yeah, it's in, it's Show in my back. Us I'm wearing a G-Shock, baby. I'm wearing a G-Shock. Hey. I'm telling you. Know, you. God, I gotta <laughs> tell you. I gotta tell you. I can talk like that too. I'm from the neighborhood. <laughs> we, oh, Actually, it's Kew Gardens, and we're all very polite. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I think he's just jealous. I'm younger, well, better looking. Okay, okay. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not jealous. You little girly sneakers you got on there. All right, gentlemen. Okay. Can I just say one last thing? Okay, and then I'm going to decide. Yes. Okay. Your Honor, not only did we do the job, not only that, Judge, I take care of fire departments, Danbury Fire Department, Lebanon, East Hartford. I do all the fire. I do all their emergency vehicles. I don't have anything. Yep. He, he, he thinks he's the godfather uh, over here. I mean, uh, come hey, on. it is what it is, <laughs> kid. Okay, it's a little bit of show. Just pay me my money, Joe. It's hard to take him seriously. Okay. Here's what I think is a fair. Yeah, please. We don't want to hear any more on him. He's certainly entitled to be paid for the work that was done. So without me having to make a decision whether it was worth $3,500 or not, okay. I can look at that and see that you can't walk away from this with your truck and just having paid $500. That's not going to work. So my decision is I rule for the plaintiff. Thank you, guys. Bingo, baby. Take that to the bank, chump. Get about it. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. And this guy, you know, he's just a hustler, tries to muscle people out of his money, and, you know, he's a fast talker. That's pretty much it. I am extremely happy with the verdict because Judge Jerry saw that he's a liar, a thief, and a cheat. Thanks for watching. Now, please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.